a nuke. Is that how we stay warm? Wait! You have a different layer of feathers under the top one. I wonder if your layers of feathers are what keep you warm. Super is on her way to fix the furnace. Oh, I hope she gets here soon. It's too cold to text. Zara, Grandma, I need your help. The Nanooksaurus has two layers of feathers. Sounds like a duck or a goose. They have waterproof layers on top to keep them dry and downy feathers underneath to keep them warm. It gives me an idea for how we can stay warm, too. Here, Sara, put on yours. Thanks. Coats inside. Sign me up. It's getting colder in here. I feel warmer, but not enough to text. Dromaeosaurus! Squawk! Dromaeosaurus is going into the shed. There you are. Squawk! Wow, Dromy. You made a little den in here. I'm going in. Squawk! Dromaeosaurus keeps even warmer than the Nanooksaurus by building a den. Is that hot chocolate? Yes, let me get you one. <laughs> Three in size of a saurus? I wonder how they keep warm in the winter. Grandma, Sara, you work on our den. I'm going to do some more investigating. It's in size of a saurus time. We are going to need more pillows and blankets. You keeping clothes like that. I wonder if standing together is how in size of a source keep warm. There's only one way to find out. Ooh, cozy. This is the warmest I've been yet. There's an even better way to keep warm than layers and building a den. I saw three in size of a source snuggling together somewhere cozy. Hey. Mom and Dad's room seems pretty cozy. I'll race you there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 